have a good time. Put a smile on your face, yeah. Keep me caring. Elation Radio. Mm-hmm. Even brighten your day and help you through the night. Bring you good music. Keep me caring. Elation Radio. And here's your host. Brothers, the jewel, David Benton, beyond a fist in a yeah. building. This is what y'all want. Yeah, you gon' get it. Huh? It don't bother me. Hey, no. It don't bother me. Breaking home. It don't bother me. Run no. It don't bother me. Run no. It don't bother me. Hey, no. It don't bother me. Breaking no. It don't bother me. Run no. It don't bother me. Run no. I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it. Years in the bed and people yeah. let me for dead Hit the yeah. waist, pile of red, cause I'm a thoroughbred Every word that I said, I kept You slept on me, the government stepped on me My homies just left on me Nobody but mama died, daddy stress Kids too, you would know what I've been through If you did a bit too You think that you know me, cool, you went to the same school So when you chain gang and beat, came a dang fool I ain't cool, but still I don't blame you I'm not the same dude I'm winning, you can't lose Real. Never been gangster or thug But I did pop a slug yeah. When yeah. I was selling yeah. drugs in the slum yeah. On the east side of Knoxville Homies, they got killed I'm Just nature. because I'm not a killer Don't mean that I'm not I'm real. real God told me my purpose I was nervous and got chills Survivor, striving That's why I'm not bothered yeah. don't bother me hey, no. It don't bother me Faking home It don't bother me Running home it don't bother me, but no, it don't bother me, hey, no, it don't bother me, hey, no, it don't bother me, but you know, it don't bother me, but no, I ain't worried about it, 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 I ain't worried about it. I got haters on haters. I got haters for haters. I trade haters for haters. They hit the haters. You ain't getting no papers. See you later to haters. Yes, I'm a full taker. Yes, you will come save us. Y'all haters keep talking and talking and talking more talking. Ain't gonna do nothing. You just keep on walking and walking more talking. Ain't for no sparking. Can't roll with the chosen, so you should go pocket. Oh, you really ain't about it. You just like the music. Get up out of the way, let the jewel go on and do it. Oh. This ain't a dream, I was put on a scene, fill a scene with a smack in my hand. Oh. You think you can judge me, this clay, this vessel, got soldier, this man? Oh. I stand on the rock and it's heavy and steady, that's right, I stand. Oh. I'm telling you, fam, I ain't choosing to do this, so this is all I got planned. No, I don't care what you talking about. Loki capping what it be about. I hear the devil coming out your mind like, no, no. Nah, we don't play cover from the side. Too blessed to be strapped. We don't even care what you talking about. I ain't worried about it. 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 Ain't nothing. 
nothing left to give it that reverence that the father gets. So every day I work the sweat can get a flesh another rest. They say go hard or go home. I say just do whatever's best. It's evident I'm blessed and I work like it. Fight, fight like a Viking. Fight, fight like a lichen. The difference is I like it so I shine like I'm lightning. So I'm going head to head with something death. Who you liking? <laughs> yeah. So it's time for coach to put me in. I'm strapping on my shoulder pads. Lacing up my cleats and then I'm gone with the wind. Like I'm gone in 60 seconds. You can't hold me. You can't check me. Check the memo. Check the message running through. Like, like I'm bad as I'm trucking. Whoever's standing in my way. Hey, hey, no way you gon' stop me. You better off to let me in. Cause I go hard even though they say no way that I could win. Like I'm Brett Ford. I'ma ride this way. My head is in the sky. My grind don't hide. Win, lose, it, drought. I'ma ride till I die. I go hard in that lane. My God is the aim. Put me in, coach. And watch me change the game. Cause I'm a game changer. 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 Yeah, I told you once before. My God came to change the game. Different outlook, all to life, a different way to play the lane. Now my rushing yards just got rocketed, now I'm so insane. For the kingdom building, now my shot, it cannot be contained. So I'm going pray for change, for myself and then what I can. I don't need no euros or no pesos or no money grams. Shout out to Wado, cause I know that he gon' play this fam. The MCA sports camp, game changer, so much damn. I don't need a hundred grand to tell him that they need the lamb. It's heaven, they just who I am. Trap to turn around, get back in it. Never, never that, that's something insane. It's every day your book they change. Like I'm Jack Johnson, the same year he changed his name. So I sacrificed my life for the cause just to win. And if you a game changer, let me see you represent. Child. 
You better not say nothing bad about that child. They can talk about them, but you better not say nothing about them. Those kind of moms. And I tell you what, this thing is called, that's my mama. Why? Because, man, <laughs> if you don't know, you better recognize. Number one, that's my mama. Mama, when can we eat? You know what my mama going to say? <laughs> you can eat when the food's ready. Now go back in there, shut up and sit down. Because that was my mama. She didn't play that. <laughs> she was always in control. Number two, that's my mama. Oh, my goodness. When I would come and say something like this. Hey, mama, I want pizza. I don't want that. Can I please have pizza? I want pizza, mama. You know what my mama would say? You know what? People in heaven, they want other people in heaven. People in hell, they want ice water. I say, you know what? Wait a minute, mama. How you know what people? You know what? I'm just I'm going to go on. But see, that was my mama. See, stuff like this. I would say, ooh, if you touch me again, I'm going to call the police on you, mama. You better not with me. You know what my mom would say? Okay. <laughs> you know what? You go ahead and call the police. You're going to have a headache, and I'm going to have an alibi by the time they get here. See, that was my mama. That's why I never called the police on my mama. I just didn't want no headache. Number four, that's my mama. I would say something stupid like this. <sighs> I'm always trying to get out. I was always trying to get out of going to school. I would say, mama, I don't feel good. I'm too sick to go to school. <laughs> My mom will say, okay, you're too sick to go to school. And let me tell you what else you're too sick to do. Go outside and play and too sick to watch cartoons. How sick you feel? Uh, I'm getting dressed to get on the bus right now, Mama. She tells my mama, she didn't fall for that okie though. And she never tried to be my friend. She was my friend, but she was my parent first. See, that's my mama. This one right here. Uh-oh. This right here. This right here. Uh, mama, is somebody on the phone want some money? You know what my mama say? Boy, if you don't hang the hell out of that phone up, hang that phone up now. That was my mom. This one right here. I would say, uh, this don't taste good. You know what my mom would say? She'd say, okay. <laughs> Trust me, it'll taste a lot better when you get hungry enough. You know what? She was right. That's my mama, number seven. Mm -hmm. I ain't never have no money for nothing. I wish I was white. You know what my mama would say? Okay. You want me to beat the black off you? Oh. I'm fine just the color I am, mama. That's my mama. This one right here. And I'm telling you, I was always pushing the envelope. But my mama, she was always ready to open it up. And shove the paper down my throat. I would say this. Uh, hmm, I'm sick of your rule. I want to go stay with my daddy. You know what my mom would say? <laughs> I sure hell help you pack. I sure will. Get your little bag. That's my mama. I would say this. Mama, where do babies come from? Because I was always curious. I always, I was always curious. I was inquisitive. Even as a child. And I asked my mama one time, I said, Mama, where do babies come from? That's when I found out she was pregnant with my little brother. You know what my mama said? This is what she said. She said, babies come from a man, a woman, an Al Green record, and a mistake. A man, a woman, an Al Green record, and a mistake. And finally, that's my mama. This one right here, and I'll never forget this one. And I, I only, I only did this or said this once, and once was all it took. Ooh, mama, you told a lie. Say I told a lie again. Call me a lie again. Ah. Trust me, I only did that one time. That's that was my mama. She didn't play that. Mama's now they want to be the kids' friends. They do. They don't care about disciplining their child. They really want their child to like them. Tell you what, my mama made sure we loved her, but she also made sure that we feared her. Yes, we did. Now, this next segment, I tell you what, <laughs> I love this segment because this segment is it's appropriate for 
this upcoming season. I know Halloween is right around the corner, but let's not forget, these are the start of the two big holidays right here, the two big family holidays, shall I say, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And y'all know, Thanksgiving and Christmas, Thanksgiving first, and you know what? It's about the family. It is about the loved ones. But y'all know also, y'all, mm, 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 it's about the food. Y'all know it's about the family get together, and it's about getting at that table, and it's about eating, and eating and eating. Let me tell you something. Gluttony is one of the seven deadly sins. And people are just going to be eating and eating and just stuffing themselves. It's just disgusting, and it's nasty. But now there's some people that I have to say, and I have to admit, they really, well, they're so used to eating and eating and eating, they don't realize when they have eaten too much. That's why this segment is called You Ate Too Much. Because I want to help people not eat too much and not to become so nasty, sloppy, and obese, okay, just because the food is there. I see a lot of people don't even know when they've eaten too much. Matter of fact, it could be you that ate too much. It could be a family member that ate too much or a friend or a coworker, a stranger in the street, someone you see at the local grocery store, somebody you see picnicking in the park, somebody you actually see in their car at a red traffic light. Yeah, just stop there. Suck it down on something. Whether it be a donut, cheeseburger, hamburger, chicken wing, it don't matter. It's just our duty and obligation to point to people and say, hey, you know what? Just stop. Enough is enough. Don't take another bite. Uh uh-uh, uh, drop that. Drop the chicken wing and step away. You've eaten too much. Now, if you don't recognize any of these and anybody you know, that's because all of them are tied to you. And you know what? You're just eating too much. Stop it. You don't kill yourself. You're going to explode. Number one, this is how you know when you ate too much. You get up from the table, go to walk away and trip over your stomach. So you ate too much. Now, that's just disgusting. You didn't ate so much that your, your, your stomach then, then dropped to the point where it's dragging the ground. And, it's, and, and you kicked it when you walked and then tripped over it and failed. Come on now. Just stop. Number two, you ate too much. You got stretch marks on your neck. Come on now. That means you you know what? You are stretched. You have stretched your esophagus to its breaking point. Stop it, y'all. Stop it. You eating too much. Number three, you ate too much. Mm-hmm. You sit down at the table with one chin. You get up with two. Yeah, you ate too much. See, you done doubled your chins. You done doubled your chin. Okay. Number four, you ate too much. You sprain your stomach muscle. See, if you didn't, you didn't, if you didn't sprain your stomach muscle, that means, you know what, you eating and swallowing so fast, your stomach ain't got time to digest it. It ain't got no place to put the food. Come on now. Slow down. Just stop it. Number five, you ate too much. Your belly button pop out. Wow. You know what? Don't that hurt? Number six, you ate too much. You start crying, and gravy start running down your cheeks. Yep, yep, that's a sure sign. When when that gravy starts running down your cheeks, if you crying gravy, yeah, you didn't eat too much. Number seven, you ate too much. You know what? They have to break the arms on the chair just to get you up out of it. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't you didn't eat too much. Plus, you didn't mess up some folks' furniture. Uh, number eight, you ate too much. Wow. You eating, 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 chew and chew and chew till you didn't sit up there and passed out with a mouthful of food. Number nine, you ate too much. Your underwear band breaks. You know what? If you didn't broke the elastic on your underwear, <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you are disgusted and you ate too much. And finally, number 10, you ate too much. Yeah, this is a sure sign. It looks like your clothes just start shrinking on your body. Yep, yep, that, that's the sign that you have eaten too much. If your clothes look like they just magically start getting smaller and smaller, shrinking and, and drawing up on your body, yeah, you've definitely eaten too much. Again, I just want to be a, a blessing and not a curse because I love you guys, and I'm not telling you not to eat and enjoy the good food. I'm just saying, hey. 
don't eat so much where it just becomes disgusting and it becomes a health risk. That's all I'm saying. All right. Now, this next segment, I, woo. <laughs> this next segment, I tell you what, is, well, I call it most annoying. The reason why I call it most annoying because there's a choice. You know, there's a choice of things. Everybody got pet peeves and, and things that annoy them. But let me ask you a question. If you had to choose between two things, which would be the most annoying to you, which would get on your nerves the most, then which would you choose? You don't have to say it out loud. Just something to think about. Most annoying. Number one, what would be the most annoying to you? Somebody that got real bad breath? Or somebody that got really stained yellow teeth? What would be the most annoying to you? That bad breath? Or them honey gold brown teeth? Just think about it. What would be the most annoying to you? Somebody wearing a crooked wig. So you see a woman with a crooked wig on their head, or you see a man with crooked teeth in his mouth. What would be the most annoying to you? That crooked wig sideways cocked on that head, or them crooked teeth just leaning with it and rocking with it in his mouth? Like I say, just something to think about. What would be most annoying to you? Mm, 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 mm. Somebody whose food is nasty and somebody whose na- house is nasty. What's most annoying to you? What 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 could you not stand the most? A nasty house or just nasty food? Hmm. What's most annoying to you? Uh oh. Uh oh. Somebody with I mean some big soup cooler lips. I mean the lips are just too big. Or uh, somebody with some bugs bunny teeth. Just teeth just too big. Just just buck. As a matter of fact, it, it's top teeth could scrape his chin. What's most annoying to you? Them big lips or them big teeth? I'm just saying. Just something to think about. Most annoying. Most annoying. Uh oh. Uh oh. This right here. Mm-hmm. Women, if you're talking to a man that's uh not honest with you or a man that's just not interested in you. Wait a minute. What 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 would be the one that be, would be the breaking point? What would make you just throw your hands in the air and just give up? If if you if the, you find that the man is not honest, or you find out the man is just not interested in you, because now I I might say, well, because he's not interested in me. Now wait a minute. Just because he's not interested in you, you can still be friends, and there'll be some type of relationship or bond you can establish. But somebody's not honest. What? Just something to think about. Again, just something to think about. Uh oh. This one right here. What would be most annoying to you? You find out the, the, the person had a really bad attitude, or you found out they had really bad credit. I mean, because you can fix credit, can't you? I don't know about attitude adjustment. I don't know how that would work, okay? Uh, now, this one right here. This one right here, and I'm, I'm going to ask the women this one. If you, if you were approached by a man, okay, if, he, if you were approached by a man, and you saw he had baby hair, or you looked down and saw he had baby feet. What would cause you to not be interested in him? That baby hair on top of his head? Or you look down and you see them shoes and realize mm, that brother's working with baby feet. I'm just saying, just something to think about women again. I want to help you all and get you to thinking about some things that would be most annoying to you, things that you just could not put up with, you couldn't live with, okay? Again, I just want to get you thinking, and I want to help you out. Now, this next segment, and, and, I, and I just want to uh, I just want to uh, ask you, uh, it, it kind of ties on to most annoying, because this one's called <laughs> Pick Your Poison. You just, I'm telling you, you pick your poison. You pick your poison. All right. Uh, number one, someone with low IQ or low self-esteem. You pick your poison. Someone with mean kids or mean parents. You pick your poison. Oh, my God. Mm, 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 mm. They got mismatched legs or mismatched arms. That means one leg is shorter than the other or one arm is shorter than the other. Come on. You got a, you, you got irregular arms or irregular legs. Pick your poison. Uh, dangerous or dentures. Pick your poison. Uh, no GED, no job. You pick your poison. Oh, my God. Holes in their shoes, holes in their shirt. Pick your poison. Uh, slow to act, 
slow to react, pick your poison. Nose hair, nose book. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. You pick your poison. Um, wide hips, wide nose. Ooh, I don't know them wide hips and them <laughs> all them wide nostrils. Pick your poison. Okay. Little head, big body. Little body, big head. That's a good one, guys. Little head, big body. Little body, big head. Mm, I'm just saying, pick your poison. Again, I just want to give you guys something to think about. Why? Because it's important that I get you thinking about things, okay? Now, I just want to give you guys some random thoughts. And I love doing my random thoughts because, again, they just mine. They have nothing to do with nobody. Nobody. I don't want you to try to figure it out. I don't need you playing no guessing game. I don't need you even contemplating or dwelling on it. These are my random thoughts. They got nothing to do with you. That's why they mine and they random. May not make sense to you, but you know what? They're my random thoughts, and I'm going to just thank them. Random thought number one. Hmm. I wonder what it would be like. If I saw a person with a glass eye and a crack in it, I wonder how I'd react to that. Would I be able to focus on the good eye or would that crack eye keep drawing me back to it? Hmm. Random thoughts. Number two, random thoughts. I wonder how ridiculous it would look for a woman to be wearing a wig. But again, that's just a random thought. Hmm. All right. Finally, random thought. They say all dogs go to heaven. I may have to go somewhere else because I don't really like dogs. Hmm. Random thought. Again, those are just my random thoughts. Ain't got nothing to do with you or nobody else. They're mine. And shut up. I didn't ask for your opinion. Finally, we come to the part of the announcement. Uh, the uh, show where we get to the church announcement. You know what? I just love the church announcement because being a man of uh, spiritual enhancement, I always want to give you a little opportunity to put a little God's seasoning in it, okay? Once you get a little hallelujah in your day. Now, I invite you to join us because we are a church. To giving God some glory. To helping folks find the Lord. Please join us. But we are the Jesus Takes the Wheel, I Got the Gas, Baptist Church. Now, let me tell you right now, we are small in number, but we are big in faith. I'm going to say it again. We are small in number, but we are big in faith. The reason why I like to do the church announcements is because I always want to make sure that everyone's kept abreast of what's going on in the church, especially Sister Johnson and Sister Vicky. Ooh, ooh, Lord, Lord knows mm, they keep abreast. But uh, also, I like to make sure that uh, everyone's on one accord, that everyone's on the same page. There's no confusion, and there's no saint left behind. I like to do the church announcements for individuals that may not have been able to attend the in-person sanctuary services or don't have access to the Internet and can't watch us as we stream for the sick to shut it up also like to do the church announcements for individuals that may have been uh, attending the in-person sanctuary services or may have been watching us as we stream but missed some parts or all of the announcements because, quite frankly, they was too busy focusing on other things. Let me just say right now, <laughs> I don't care what you hear. I don't care what you, I don't. I don't care what you think. You know. Okay, <laughs> let me tell you right now. Okay, my son Lamont ain't in no jail. He's not locked up in jail, 
No, he's not. He's go. The smart people can. Okay? On Idiot Island. That's where he is. He went to smart people camp on Idiot Island. Okay? He ain't like that. He, he ain't like, I don't care. I don't care what you've seen with, with the Facebook posts or whatever. I don't care. Okay? That jumpsuit is a part of his camping gear. Okay? That's what it is. Okay? And that number on, on, on his uh, jumpsuit, that's how many steps he's required to do every day. So the money ain't in no jail. My kid don't go to jail because I'm too good of a parent to let any child of mine do something that'll get them in jail. So, again, he's in smart camp on idiot island. Okay? All right. Hope y'all buy that. And that's number one. Uh, I'm just going to say this. Uh, Brother... Brother Monroe, uh, you know the church has a open door policy uh, to come as you are, but don't you come in here in no biker shorts and spikes heels and sports bra, okay? You gonna mess around and get your life turned upside down. <laughs> you gonna wake up with a headache, okay? <laughs> you gonna open your eyes after they've been closed for a while. Quit playing with the church. Uh, Deacon Lonnie, okay, I'm going to put it like this. Uh, I'm happy you got your new dentures. I really am. But, man, when you quit smiling all the doggone time, okay, number one, it's embarrassing and it's hurtful, okay? It's hurtful. Yeah, I am telling you about how uh, uh, Elder Simmons had lost his grandson, and there you are smiling because you want to show off your new teeth. Quit playing with folks. We mess around and get your your joy taken out when I snatch some teeth out you. Um, I want everybody to say a prayer for Mother Perlene. As we know, she uh, is she's not doing too well, and she has been... Uh, She's been put in, in a nursing home, and somebody had to go see her, okay? She's been in there for two weeks, and she uh, she called, and uh, uh, she called uh, she called me the other day and said she'd been in there two weeks, and ain't nobody been in there to see her from church. Two weeks. Ain't no, and you mean to tell me that as beloved as a, a member as she has been and is to this body, Two weeks she been gone in that nursing home up, up by herself, lonesome, lonely, feeling like she been left out. She been abandoned. Two weeks ain't nobody, ain't none of you son of a suckers been up there to see her. Y'all to be disgusted. What about you, Pastor? Who said that? And about me? Oh well. People are always trying to make it about the pastor. Finally, we come to the part of the announcement that I always look forward to not looking forward to, for it is the building fund total. As we know, the building fund offers a little bit of everything. Intrigue, mystery, humor, horror, adventure, but most of all, unpredictability. As of the day, the building fund has raised, and I quote, a higher level of suspicion. You ain't never lie. Thank you guys for listening to me. Uh, thank you for joining me for another Sunday with Nuts with Dre. Now, as I always like to do, I'm going to pray us out. Why? Because it's just a good thing to do. So I ask you all here about, or eyes are closed. Unless, of course, you're blind. It really don't matter, does it? I mean, seriously. Really? For real? Wow. Oh, oh, Lord, we thank you for another opportunity to come together in fun, faith, and fellowship. <laughs> thank you for opening doors that no man can shut. Hold that door. Thank you for making a way out of no way. What way is that? The other way. Thank you for being a lawyer in the courtroom. Guilty, not guilty. 
over rule. I object. You're in contempt. Thank you for being the doctor in the sick room. What room is that? The room where people ain't got no insurance because they're going to stay in that room and they're going to stay sick until they pay their premium. But most of all, we thank you for being God and God alone, for loving us more than we can love you or even ourselves. I continue to bless us and keep us holding us close to your bosom, keeping us shielded from all hurt, harm, and danger. We will be forever mindful to give you the honor, glory, and the praise. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. And you guys have a great rest of your night. In the weekend on a high note. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. I will see you all next Sunday with more nuts, with more Dre. Why? Because I'm a little hungry. I'm eat a little bite. Put on just a little bit of weight. Be blessed and not stressed. And don't y'all fall for the mess. Stay woke, but still go to sleep. Good night. You're so amazing. Yeah. You're so amazing. Yeah. You're so amazing. You're so amazing. I'm a son by you, so I'm stunning. Future looks bright, so promising. You're a great wonder, no wondering. You're amazing. You're so amazing. I'm amazed by you, I'm in awe. Your ways are perfect, there are no flaws. Probably come here to know it sounds out, but you're amazing. You're so amazing. I'm referring to the French of Everest, not a fairy tale. Never had a plan. Poor that's blood, I escape hell. Don't you amazing, you're so amazing, yeah. Set me free, you gave me eternal life. You gave up your life, you sacrificed. Made old things new, made the wrong right. Don't you amazing, you're so amazing. Yeah.